Wow, bro. Wow. <laughs> that was crazy. This program is brought to you by Only Me, Cast Away, on the Q-Cast. In this episode of the reality TV show Vortex Park, Philly built it again. He blindsided the hell out of that bird. Even the cops on this show play dirty. Even they say it. You can't play like a cop. To win, you gotta play like a crook. I guess that makes sense. Only one person can win. You're gonna have to cut your best friend down at some point if you're gonna get to the top. You're competing for one million dollars. Do you give up your chances because you feel bad? Because you have some guilty conscience? Not that anyone would care about you. How else would you survive? How else would you win a million dollars? Someone is bound to lie to you, use you, manipulate you. You might as well be the best one at it, right? Strategy. Shit. Philly Bill is killing him right now. I mean, it's clear, right? It's right there on the TV. To win, you got to get your hands dirty. To get what you want. To survive. All the winners of Vortex Park don't do shit with their normal lives, but on the show, they made all the right moves. And if we all know this, why don't we all do it? Well, let me rephrase that. Why don't the losers do it? In the real world, the game is just as present. What does Shakespeare say? All the world's a stage, and all the men and women merely players? Is that how our president got there? Is that how your favorite pop artist climbed to the top? Is that how the clothes we're wearing get made? If we know the formula to winning, why can't we use it? It's just a game, right? This world, this system, this stage. All is fair in love and war. That is the saying. All is fair in love and war. They are saying you get to do whatever you want to do when it comes to what you love and handle your business when it comes to power over another. And Philly Bill gets to do it time and time again on Vortex Park, and we love it. We thrive on it. It's amazing. It's like the best. It's like we are... Wait, hold on. They were playing the scene when Philly Bill had a conversation with Tennessee Jen right before he got her voted out. False oh, smiles. She had no idea. Damn. To win. To achieve. To overcome in victory and competition. Vortex Park. We see it. That's the way to winning. That park is a microcosm of the world. And we know that. And that's why we watch. And if there's a surefire way to winning, why don't we use it? Maybe winning isn't the reason we're here. But if it's not to win, then why the hell do we keep dreaming? Spending all my time trying to win. Trying to achieve a dream. The dream tiring me into sleep every night. Well, that was before the quarantine anyway. I used to sleep so hard, and all I seemed to do is stay awake. <laughs> Wide awake, watching reality TV. Wide awake, watching reality TV. Wide awake, watching. The Watcher. Watching until I become The Watcher. The watcher without a watch. No time for my dreams. No time to dream. Only space to watch while awake. Awake. Conscious to the world. Is Philly Bill asleep? Why do the sleepwalkers get to dream? Of course, they are asleep. You dream when you're asleep. But now I'm awake. But if I don't get the dream, do I really have a chance at winning? Maybe I'm not here to win. Well, what the hell am I doing here? Why didn't the movies tell me about this? TV raised me. Why didn't you tell me what I'm here for? I gotta be here for a reason, right? Then I guess it shouldn't be the dream. Okay then, what the hell am I supposed to do while I'm awake? Forget that the rest of the world is asleep. Maybe the next time I go to sleep, I won't ask for a dream. I'll ask for my purpose. 
Wait, 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 wait. We're showing the trailer for the next episode. No way. <laughs> no way. Two of the past losers face off to re-enter competition, and one of them is Tennessee Jen, and she looks pissed. Looks like Philly Bill's days might be numbered. Um, what was I saying again?